Well, I've been enjoying George's articles in the Talbot Spy, and I'd seen his images that sometimes accompanied them, and I'd seen his images in other places, and I, I like his work a lot. It speaks to me. It's old school, it's black and white, it's very gritty, and I also love black and white and grew up doing work in the darkroom, and I thought it would be really fun to do a show together. And then with Charlotte living at home, and she's very talented, and I thought, well, this could really be interesting to put the three of us together. When I first saw Charlotte's work, I thought how very different it is from anything that I do. It's soft, it's pastoral, <laughs> it's innocent, too. Uh, it, the, so it had that fresh, fresh, you know, uh, fresh, after the rain kind of nice. The great thing with film, uh, color film, is that it has such a different quality of the color and the graininess. You can't really get that same aesthetic yeah. with um, digital, so there's very little retouching that I do. No, I'm the dinosaur. I still work with mechanical cameras, darkroom. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just out of the Stone Age. I, I didn't realize until uh, the people began to use digitals that uh, you, you the issue in for me in black and white is the anticipation. You get out there and you know you got 36, so you bracket, you take three of it, and you take more. But that's your shot. That's it. <clears throat> and so you, you, you know, so you go into the dark room and you think, gee, if this really comes out the way I want, is this going to be? What I want to emphasize is kind of the spiritual quality of it. You're living in hope. You hope that thing really works. Yeah. And and until you actually see it emerge from the dark. Uh, it's 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 a, it's it's a guessing game. We have the three generations, and the two ends are the ones that are using film. <laughs> and I was <laughs> and I was <laughs> and I was saying like so many people I know my age are going back into film and mm. using it primarily. And there's so many highly regarded photographers that have always used film and continue to use film and publications, National Geographic, I know they still use predominantly film.